Hey, moms and dads, boys and girls, welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, today is February 23rd, a very notable day in history. On this date in 1995, the Dow Jones average reached 4,000 for the first time. Today, it hovers around 25,000. That means if I had invested all of my money in stocks in 1995, you wouldn't be watching the Friday Funnies right now. Because I'd be relaxing in one of my multiple mansions, drinking premium champagne and surrounded by lackeys. Unfortunately, in 1995, I invested all of my money in house payments and Budweiser. But now, now I got a tip because I'm putting everything I own into Elon Musk's new time machine. And if it works, I'm going back, getting rich, and getting me some lackeys. Also, on this date in 1940, uh, Disney released the movie Pinocchio. And you remember this, it was about a wooden boy who becomes real, and every time he tells a lie, his nose grows, and he got swallowed by a whale. Steven Spielberg is working on a remake of this movie about telling lies and getting swallowed up in the process. It's going to be called A Joint Session of Congress. And to me, to me, this day means we're almost at the end of the Winter Olympics. And we can get back to the winter, or the normal winter sports that we have, like falling on the ice, catching a snowball in the eye, or having a heart attack while shoveling snow. Hey, where's my medal? Yours? is here in the form, in the form, not very good form, of the Friday Funnies. Apple has been at the forefront of cutting-edge technology, and in any Apple store, you can find a genius bar. It's manned by very smart computer people who can answer any questions you may have. Well, Apple recently opened their New World headquarters in Cupertino, California, and this is to house the resident corporate brainiacs. Unfortunately, the people that work there are not really as smart as they look. You see, the building is round and it's surrounded by 50-foot glass panels. All of the walls to the offices inside are made of glass, as are the doors, designed to give it a more open feeling. Well, the downside to this is many of the Einstein wannabes are suffering injuries by continually bumping into them. There have been cuts and bruises and numerous expletives as executives and employees walk into the glass walls at full speed, undoubtedly while they're looking at their iPhones. Apple's working on an app to correct this problem because, of course, painting the walls would be just too easy. Sweetie Sam is a woman from India who has been posing as a man. And, and she was so convincing of it that she got married to other women twice. Now, at the same time. And now this has been going on for four years. Now Sweetie has decided to harass the families of his or her two wives uh, to get the dowry that is usually promised to a married couple. Now, after a while, the wives kind of figured it out. They figured first, A, there's two of them, uh, B, their husband's name is Sweetie, and, and C, Sweetie is endowed, endowed like a Ken doll. So they wised up, they called BS, Sweetie got arrested for fraud and forgery and impersonation and sent to the Haldwani jail, where he and or she are expected to receive their dowries in the forms of cigarettes, shivs, and uh, pillowcases over the head. You know, it seems like the internet can do anything nowadays. There's a company out there called Cam Soda, and they specialize in, in products for discriminating adults, if, if you get my drift. Their recent release for women is called the Rub Grub. The Rub Grub is a battery-powered pleasure device equipped with an internet-connected button that the user can press once they've achieved let's call it Climax, and their battery-operated boyfriend will then order them a pizza from Domino's, thus eliminating the need for men altogether. You know, if I invented this thing, I think I would have called it the diddle and dine and watch it become one of Oprah's favorite <laughs> things. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel on YouTube if you don't mind. And also take a listen to my new podcast, Just Kill Me. It's available on both iTunes and, uh, and Podbean. That's Just Kill Me on iTunes. Look for the picture of the strangled chicken. 
I'll see y'all next week.